Hey everyone, and welcome to the first episode in this series, You Get What You Pay For. If you haven't yet watched the introduction to this series, I encourage you to go and do that now so you can get a bit of background information into who I am and understand my motivation behind this series. Today, I'm here to talk about my love for the Sattler Active 8 and Active 10 heads with Flotex 75 and 100 carbon legs. After almost two years of using them exclusively everywhere and anywhere. From high-end commercial studio and location work to passion project documentaries and everywhere in between. These sticks have been in and out of cars, under heavy grip equipment, planes, vans, endlessly being opened and closed, raised and lowered, falling off of carts onto the sidewalk, into dirt, in the rain and in the mountains. And they both look and function perfectly still. I wanna talk through three main categories, their build quality, their usability and features, and I wanna break down some financials. Every part of the system feels premium and gives you confidence just as it should and the Flotec legs and active heads have become staples in the industry for good reason. They feel and perform as good as they look, and their speed and simplicity save you time and energy on set. And we know time and energy is money. The active speed leveling head is revolutionary, and you'll hate to go back to anything else after using it. It'll level from any angle, and it's instant. You can remove it from the legs with no effort at all, and place it onto a slider or dolly and get right to work. It's extremely robust and strong, especially for its size. If you've ever seen one of these on set, you know what I'm talking about. Almost every single time I'm out working, I get comments about how cool and professional the tripod is. Folks aren't necessarily talking about how it looks, but how it's physically being used and manipulated on set. There's no other tripod on the market that moves as fast as the Active and Flotec combo. Like I said earlier, it's also super light, especially for how much it supports, and that's why I've made it a point to prioritize it as part of my kit, not only for studio work, but also for traveling. Since day one, I've really enjoyed having two tripods that match. On studio days and in interview setups, it looks super clean having matching tripods and operators aren't fighting for one or the other. They're both awesome. One of the first things I make people do in order to realize the true cost of a piece of equipment, especially if they've commented on how expensive something is, is to divide the cost by how many years you plan to keep that item. Today, the Sattler Active 10 with Flotec 100 legs with the mid-level spreader is about $5,800. This is a very high-end tripod, so let's say you'll have it for 10 years, and that's not unrealistic. There are countless rental houses and owner operators across the country that have 10, 15, and 20-year-old Sattler and O'Connor tripods still working and being rented out today. So that cost divided by 10 years is about $580 per year. For comparison, the Active 8 with Flotec 75 legs is about $3,700 or $370 per year. I charge my clients to rent these tripods out for $90 and $65 respectively. I understand that not everybody is in the rental business and not everybody is even charging for their equipment. I know for me, it probably took six or seven years in first the photography and then videography businesses before I started charging for equipment that I was bringing to set. But since, especially recently, this is a very real and viable business for not only me, but others, I wanna start sharing those financials and that insight to help you make smart decisions. I want you to be able to afford the equipment that you want and need. I want you to be able to have a lot of fun doing what you love and I want you to be profitable. You get what you pay for, and these tripods are absolutely as good as it gets. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.